When Isaac and I went up to Oregon, it was our first time out. You know, we, we had never worked together. Um, it was really the first time Isaac had uh, this much control over a piece. And, and um, you know, we, we were both pretty new to this whole thing. And we just went up there and we kind of, we shot a lot of footage and um, kind of just hoped for the best and hoped that we got it all, you know. And it was an amazing project. We had a blast doing it. It was just great. We got a lot of good footage and uh, it really blossomed into just something special and something else. So the Star Pro Project started out with, um, actually there was a uh, glass conference in Portland, Oregon, and uh, I had the idea to blow these large glass uh, cones. They were about three feet tall or so. I cut open 200 glow sticks uh, of various colors and, and filled these glass cylinders up with the glow sticks and stuck them outside the closing party for this glass blower conference. and. Uh, just really like the idea of the, the glass glowing and like the idea that the glass only glue for a certain amount of time and kind of almost felt that it was a, a, a performance art as well as, you know, a fine art. That idea evolved into wanting to take it from Portland to Los Angeles and do some sort of project with the, uh, the glow stick liquid. And uh, I tried to just come up with an interesting shape, one that was not too hard, but not too easy to make in glass, and something that would fit in Los Angeles. And uh, I came up with this star form. Before you can blow glass, you have to go through a process known as charging, which is uh, basically just taking the raw materials that glass is made out of, and um, they're packaged up in these 15-pound uh, bricks just in paper bags, and uh, you throw those bricks of the raw materials in the furnace, which is uh, which is at about 2300 degrees and those uh, melt overnight to form glass. project and, and really my work in general, I think um, I'm not so much doing it for myself. I'm, I make work because I really hope that people enjoy it. I hope that um, they see something they've never seen before and it inspires them to get creative. Uh, the process of making the work is really, for me, um, it's very therapeutic, but uh, once it's made, uh, it's really for other people. So to make one of these stars, um, first I have to uh, gather some glass on a, a, a metal pipe and uh, blow into it to make it hollow. And uh, I start by making these creases here, the indents, and then uh, after the indents are made, I pull all the points. And uh, then to get this, uh, this crackling effect, uh, I dip the whole thing in water while it's hot and that shatters the glass but it's still hot enough to refuse, so it's just uh, the appearance of it cracked. Upstairs and downstairs and outside on the roof Small stars and steel bars say the ghost up in the Maybe two, three weeks after we shot all this footage in Oregon, uh, I decided to move back to Los Angeles. So my, my time in Oregon was kind of over, and uh, I 
moved back to LA. I was talking to Isaac and uh, I said, man, man that, that was so much fun shooting that documentary. Like how, how can, you know, I want to do this more. How, how can we um, turn this into something else? And, and Isaac actually came up with the idea of let's do a video blog and, and let's just keep this going. I think we really have something here. And Art at Will became something completely different and, and much bigger. It became this video blog and this website and um, this, this passion project. So if you're an artist and um, you're looking for a way to promote yourself and your work and you're really passionate about what you're doing, uh, you should try and get in touch with us at uh, submissions at artatwill.com and uh, maybe we'll come do a profile piece on you because uh, that's what Art at Will is about now, uh, promoting, promoting people that are doing amazing things. Once I remember the words we can climb down the rooftop I swear